Hey everyone, let's talk about something really important, your heart. We often hear the terms heart attack and heart failure used, sometimes even interchangeably, but they are not the same thing. Knowing the difference could save a life, maybe even your own. So let's clear up the confusion in the next three minutes. First up, what is a heart attack? Imagine your heart muscle is a garden and the coronary arteries are the hoses watering it. A heart attack or myocardial infarction is like someone suddenly kinking or blocking one of those hoses. A blood clot abruptly cuts off blood flow to a part of the heart muscle. Without that vital oxygen, the muscle cells start to die. This is an immediate life-threatening plumbing crisis. Now what about heart failure? This is a totally different beast. Heart failure, also called congestive heart failure, doesn't mean your heart has stopped. It means your heart muscle has become weak or stiff over time and can't pump blood effectively enough to meet your body's needs. Think of it like a worn-out washing machine. It still runs, but it can't spin the water out properly, so laundry, or in this case blood and fluid, starts to back up in your system. This is a chronic condition, a long-term pumping problem. So how do they start? A heart attack is sudden and acute. It happens in a moment. One minute you're fine, the next you're in crisis. Heart failure, on the other hand, usually develops gradually, creeping up over months or even years. It's often the result of long-term damage from things like untreated high blood pressure, diabetes, or, ironically, from the damage caused by a previous heart attack. The symptoms are also a major clue. For a heart attack, think classic movie scene, sudden intense chest pain or pressure, maybe a feeling like an elephant is sitting on your chest. This pain can radiate to your left arm, jaw, or back. You might also get cold sweats, feel nauseous, or be extremely short of breath. It's a sudden, terrifying event. Heart failure symptoms are more subtle and chronic. You might feel constantly tired with no energy. You could notice your legs, ankles, and feet swelling up like balloons. A key sign is shortness of breath, especially when you lie down flat at night. You might need to prop yourself up with pillows just to breathe. That fluid backup can also cause rapid, unexplained weight gain. So how do we fix them? Because they're different problems, they need different solutions. For a heart attack, the plumbing emergency, the goal is to unblock that artery immediately. Doctors will rush to do procedures like an angioplasty to open the vessel or use powerful clot-busting drugs. It's all about restoring blood flow right now. For heart failure, the long-term pumping problem, the focus is on management. It's about helping that weakened heart work better and making life easier. This involves long-term medications like beta blockers and diuretics, major lifestyle changes like a low-sodium diet and exercise, and managing the underlying conditions that caused it. 